Hi, and welcome to biology. I wanted to welcome, welcome you directly to the class and to go through some of the ma main course procedures in this quick note. So let's cover, first of all, what the heck biology is. Biology is defined as the study of life, and that is a very broad definition for, for all the stuff that goes on in biology. And so this is, you'll find, a very complex topic. And biology covers all of the other sciences. It covers physics, it covers chemistry, it covers mathematics. It even covers some of the earth sciences. So um, biology really is the queen of the sciences because it incorporates all of them. So one of the things that we have is how does it apply to me? And that's a bigger question, and that's usually what causes students to be involved in, in biology and why it's an, a fascinating science. So with that in mind, take out a piece of paper, please. And then I want to know what you're thinking. I So I am a geek, and I'm also musically schizophrenic, so occasionally I'll put song lyrics in there that make sense to me. Anyway, I'd like you to write down two things that you'd love to learn about in biology class and why. I do read these. You're going to pass them to your proctor, and they're going to send them to me by scan, and we'll go over it. But uh, I'll try and incorporate as many of these as I can in order to make this class more personalized for you. Okay, so after you've paused this lecture and come back once you've done that, I'd like to go over some of the course procedures and requirements. So the first thing that's part of the course is the syllabus and safety contract. This is important because the syllabus is something so that you can communicate with your parents, and I can too, about what goes on in the course, kind of what's required, and also the safety contract. That is key important to make sure that you've read and understand the rules for a lab-based class. This will be almost entirely labs during your live sessions, and so I want to make sure that you're safe as possible when you come to class and that you conduct yourself in a safe manner so that you don't get in hurt. The second part I'd like you to fill out is the student information sheets, and those will be provided for you. And then the third question is, who grades me? Well, the short answer is, I do. Um, your proctor, who is with you in your class, may be grading some of the materials, but primarily I will be grading it, just because that will be the key way that I understand if you're understanding the material. And so that gets scanned to me, I grade it each night, I get it returned. Okay, and finally, the notebooks. The notebooks are key. They are your lifeline in this course. Um, you should never, ever, ever leave it home uh, because this is the one, how you communicate back and forth with yourself for the at-home portions and the in-class portions. So at this point, I'd like you to Stop this, uh, this abbreviated lecture, and I'd like you to do the following things. Decorate your front cover, create a title page for your notebook, make sure that you have dates on every single page, that's super important, and make sure that this is where your notes go, because your notes are going to be key. You will be taking the lecture components, the information parts of your class will be done at home. The activity components will be done here, where I can help you understand that material, but it is vital that you do those lecture portions at home before you come in, because it helps to introduce the next day. So go ahead and get that set up, and we'll check in with you later.